Some of the fondest memories that we can ever recall. Denham Rodwell, Ricky Maingard, the Birches, and his legion of followers. The Big Grey, as he was known, Wolf Power. And then there was Main Man. But I can tell you they've got to get to Main Man with his wife, Nancy Glossier, and Jeff Lloyd is keeping Main Man going. Bush Telegraph on the inside, Model Man screaming on the outside. But Lloyd's hard at work on Main Man. Bush Telegraph is right in the middle of Model Man. I don't think they're going to get to Main Man. Model Man is eating up the ground. It's going to be a hunting her. Main Man and Model Man, you're up the line. And I'll give it to the short One of the greatest finishes ever seen. Surfing home down the inside and one tire pair the outside. Surfing home the month, one tire pair the driving finish. The month surfing home, one tire pair. Here it comes now and surfing home has come back to win it. Surfing home kick later when it's on the month in a driving finish. He is affectionately known to all South African horse racing fans as the governor, Jeffrey Lloyd. And it brings me to my favorite painting of South African horse racing of all time. And I refer to Henk Force's rendition of South Africa's most famous horse race, the Vodacom Derby in July, with Alexander Garrett Laird and London News and Pierre Stratum winning for Laurie and Jean Jaffe in the centennial Rothmans July, as it was known then. And we've got Flaming Rock, we've got Illustrador, we've got the incomparable Terence Millard with right prerogative and occult and then in the right hand corner of your picture you'll see one of the greatest legends of the game and that is of course the bear Sid Laird with Bertie Hayden and politician who was victorious back in 1978. On that occasion a horse called Beau Art finished up second and in third place was a horse called So Humble trained by the late Des Renou and ridden by guess who? the governor, Jeff Lloyd, as a young might he was back in 1978. He couldn't have been more than 17 years old, if my calculations are correct, being born in 1961. But enough of the history, and so to the present. Sydney Airport, family Lloyd aboard an A380 jetliner destined from Sydney to Johannesburg and onward to Durban, where he makes an attempt to etch his name into the pages of South African horse racing history like no other before him. Who is ever going to run third 11 times out of 25 attempts? This year he rides for Justin Snaith aboard a horse called Made to Conquer by a Vodacom Durban July winner called Dynasty. Let's see how it maps out with Family Lloyd in South Africa. <laughs>
Jeff Lloyd, is he made to conquer? We'll see today. Vodacom, Durban July, four and a quarter million rands, stand by. It's time to release the gates and they fired on their journey. Sit back, relax and enjoy the ride. 1500 ago and made to conquer and Jeff Lloyd by a neck. White River shaking his head, there's absolutely no speed on and Jeff Lloyd's about to commit on made to conquer. Made to conquer now, ridden to respond, Fiorella. Matador man's on the outside. Do it again, gets into the shake-up and Fiorella's there. Made to conquer, African night sky. Matador man, do it again and elusive silver running on. Do it again, made to conquer, elusive silver. Majestic Mumbo, do it again by a neck. Made to conquer's on the inside. Do it again in front and it's do it again by a Agent Dees Dynant is conducting a press conference, but to all intents and purposes, I think the most important thing was to come back here for your sons and to see if you could establish a mark on that Vodacom Durban July trophy, which so nearly happened. Uh, look, it's been a great day, and um, I'm, I'm so happy the horse ran well. I know he couldn't have done any better, and that's all, I, as I said before, as long as there's no excuses, uh, I'm, I'm happy with that. And, seconds better than the thirds that I've had through my whole career and I know my kids and my wife and my mother and mother-in-law they were all here and I know they had a good shout and uh, it's a race well they saluted me but I had a lot of fun trying to win it. Now if you take a look about 30 meters to the left there you'll see a plaque that's dedicated to Benjamin Johnson one of the greatest men that this country's ever seen in horse racing and Quite ironic that his son should run first and second with Bernard Cantor and partners, and that's the horse that you actually asked for. Yeah, originally when I um, was studying form, and uh, he was a horse that caught my eye when I went through all his runs and quickly got on the phone to Justin, and he said, "Look, I'll see how we're going, but um, if he doesn't get Bernard's weight, probably Anton will ride him, and uh, but keep it open, and we'll try and find somebody else." So well. You know, they do all the work and they deserve it. But yeah, he was the horse that caught my eye originally. Now, on Wednesday, quite a unique situation transpired. We were out at Summerfelt and there was a groom strike and Justin ended up riding some of his own horses. One of them was do it again. And he couldn't stop enthusing about the horse. But you rode your horse and I think your horse did everything that you expected of him and you did project that he's going to be an outstanding four-year-old. Yeah, as I said before, I think his horse could win the Gold Cup. No problem with that. I think he proved today... When challenged, he rallied close to the line. He didn't get away from me, and they, they, they ran away from the third horse. So, you know, he's a real laid-back horse. I would have liked to have gone a little bit, probably harder, a little bit earlier, but he's so switched off, and I, I actually had to wait for African for a horse to come and join me for him to concentrate. So he's a real laid-back, switched-off switched horse, which we all want in these stayers, and he's just he's going to get better. He's a, he's a lovely horse. Everybody predicted a slow place, but... I mean, seriously, we're dealing with top jocks around the world here. You know what? You, you know, owners have this thing about the way their horses, when they've won, that's how they think they must always be ridden. And uh, we all know, you know, horses can come from last off a fast run race and they can lead and win as well. It was a, a crawl early and uh, nobody, a few had me early, early in the race. Um, first couple of furlongs had more speed than me and I had to wait for them to anchor and then I moved on and as I say I would like to have gone a little bit harder but at the same time he is a younger horse still progressing and you don't want to put him in the deep end too much and as I say he done me proud I thought I couldn't have done any more and he ran well. Okay let's talk very briefly about your trip I'm sure you're going to have in incredible fond memories of whether it's visiting Patrick Shaw or whether it's going to functions or whatever it is but try and compress this week here in South Africa. I was just in awe of um, the support I got, um, the coverage we received. It was great seeing everybody. That was my, that was probably the highlight. Catching up with Alistair Gordon, Dennis Bosch, you know, to catch up with everybody years down the line and see how they, we, we were all aging, and we all got good spirits. We still love the game. That was a highlight for me, and this was, this, 
you know, this is secondary to all that. Um, but as I say, I would have been disappointed if I didn't do myself proud, and I did. I thought I rode well. I thought the horses ran well, and I'm going, I'm going home happy. I thought Dee's done a, a, you know, it's not easy to get good rides on these big days. The big stables are all got their jockeys. So it's tough, and I, I thought he did a good job. You know, I, I thought all my horses had a chance, and they ran accordingly. Um, well done to him, and, and as I say, I, I thought a lot of my horses ran well today. Well done, guys. Well done, Governor. You're beauty. And the boys, obviously, um, there are plans for Jaden to come back in December. Zach must have enjoyed his time at the academy, the place that, that means so much to you and so many other jockeys who have excelled from that academy. It's great to go back and see it all and, uh, you know, all the riding masters and, and how the kids progress, how, they, how we all started, all getting taken off around the track. And my little boy, Zach, he got bolted with around there too. And it's all growing up. It's all what makes us become jockeys. And um, I was very proud of both of them, the way they've improved. Yeah, Jaden couldn't have impressed me more. He's got a lot stronger and he managed horses that he couldn't manage a couple of months ago. And Zach, I threw in the deep end and he went to Summerfeld, Ashburton, I thought handled himself very well. They're both good, fine young men. They both were in the jockey room today for the first time in their lives. Been in a jockey room and done my kit and saw that side of it. And my little daughter, she's uh, never interested in racing, but I think even this got her excited. And, uh, and everyone had a great day, my wife. You know, I, I think she would have gone home happy. Well, I want to put the lid on it and say to you that most composers of music and most great artists only get appreciated long after they die. But yeah. we think in South Africa that you are truly a legend in your own lifetime and we delighted and honoured to have had you here in South Africa for the short time. I appreciate it. As I say, it's been wonderful. And I can't thank you enough for how you put this together, how you got us together in Australia and what you've done here to put this whole package together means a lot to me, my family and me. And I know Nicola for one has worked hard with you. I'm not the best person with emails and <laughs> SMSs and I know the two of you have been back and forth trying to get this right and it means a lot to me and I, I thank you from our hearts here. Yeah. South African people miss you yeah. and we'll be following you probably even more keenly now with uh, hopefully Jaden being able to get that Vodacom Durban July win. Yeah, I told them both. I said, oh, I haven't looked like I've got it. They were all telling me, the jockey, you've got to come back next year. I said, yeah, leave me alone. <laughs> Three, so, two, one. <laughs> yeah, getting closer. But it would be wonderful if my kids ride in Australia. And I know this will mean a lot to them. So they maybe they will come back and try and do it for me. What has Vodacom Durban July day been like for you 2018? Oh, it's been a great day so far. Um, it was exciting to see my dad nearly win the second race of the day. Hopefully he can get a one throughout the day. Being at the academy, obviously he values what he was taught at the academy, the discipline, uh, all the, the value of working with Lawrence O'Donoghue and all the other guys. How have you enjoyed your time at the academy? Oh, I've loved it so far. It's really been an honour to be in the same footsteps as my dad was in. I've really enjoyed my stay and I'm just trying to improve my riding every day. Now, I spoke to your mom and she said to me that there were many times when they were trying to prevent you and Zach from actually becoming jockeys for various different reasons, but, but it's in your blood and something that you really wanted. Oh yeah, I never really wanted to become a jockey until one day I thought I really want to follow my dad's footsteps and from that day I've, I haven't looked back, I've always wanted to become a jockey. So it's early mornings and it's discipline and fortunately your structure is that hopefully that you, with your small mom and, and all, the, all the riding genes that, that you will be able to make it. Oh yeah, I'm, always, I'm hoping I don't get too tall, but I'll do whatever it takes not to. You develop your own style, because I'm taller, we're going to be taller than most jockeys. I'll find ways that make me look better, that type of stuff. So, what are the most important things that your dad has imparted to you so far, knowing full well that if you play a golf like Gary Player, it doesn't mean because you're his son or daughter that you're going to play as well? Yeah, you've got to work hard. There's not going to be any shortcuts, and now I'm going to have to work. I'm going to have to follow the same process as my dad uh, took to get to the top and I understand that and I'm willing to do it. How do the other apprentices treat you in the academy because you're Jeff Lloyd's son? Oh, they treat me the same. We're all the same there. All wanting to become jockeys, all trying to get to the top. It's the same. 
Okay, I remember an interview that was conducted in Queensland at the facility. You were back in South Africa and your dad and Zach were talking. The guy asked Zach, what happens if you and Jaden are in a tight finish in the Melbourne Cup? I want to win. I don't care about Zach on my inside. I'm going to win that race. So he said he's going to give you an elbow. You're going to give him an elbow yeah. back? He gives me one, I'll give him harder. <laughs> Straight back at him. I understand that you're going back to Australia in December, is that correct? Yes. From there onwards you will go and you'll be under the guidance of your dad? Yes, try and race ride as soon as possible. And yeah, I'll be under my dad. Jaden, as always, thanks for your time and good to have you here. Yeah, it's been great talking to you. Well, it's been an absolute joy on behalf of Sunbet, on behalf of Track and Ball, on behalf of CUDA, who made it all possible for Jeffrey Lloyd to come to South Africa. In fact, it was the initiative by Vihan Smith that got Jeffrey Lloyd to South Africa, notwithstanding the fact that he already intended to come and ride in the Vodacom Durban July and to see his son Jaden, who's presently at the South African Jockey Academy, and to give his other son Zach an opportunity to take a look at what the academy has to offer, the very place where he honed his incredible skills. So, on behalf of South African horse racing, and in particular Graham Hawkins, who was the master of ceremonies at the panel discussion at Sabah, very proudly hosted by Track and Ball, we bid you farewell, Governor, and your family, and wish you the very best from South Africa to Down Under in Queensland. To whichever day you decide to retire, South African horse racing fans will be watching your every move. It's been an absolute delight to have you and your family here in South Africa.